welcome to the Driftwood Boat Block. I'm Marion. I'm Harry. This is our boat, Driftwood. We're doing a bit, of, a bit of Irish boating in the middle of November and it's it's really autumn weather, but it's just it's glorious. Lovely, yeah. And there's nobody around, it's just so yeah. peaceful, it's beautiful. There's, there's so many advantages to cruising in the middle of winter and uh, <laughs> we'll get around to the mall, so don't go away. When you're boating this time of year, you do need an independent source of heat or you're going to freeze to death. So we're lucky we have um, an Argus Backer diesel heater that heats the water, that heats a number of radiators for us. It's 12 volt and it runs off the, the diesel that the engines run off as well. So we're kind of, we're independent. We don't need to have a plug, on, a plug in for 240 volt. And it's really, really warm. It is. Sometimes it can be yeah. warmer than the home, the house at home. Like. Yeah, it is. because. Like a boat is only a small area, it's not a huge area to heat up, so you don't need a massive amount of heat. What I would love is a little solid fuel stove, but the we layout... Don't have any place on the boat. We today. don't. The layout of the boat doesn't really lend Let's itself go. to it. No, we're not getting an <laughs> Do you know what, sometimes I'd have to say that autumn cruising is almost better than summer cruising because look at the beautiful colours you have here, it's not just absolutely magnificent. So Marion is at the helm here now, we should go underneath this bridge and it's just on a bend and there's a bit of a run in the river so that kind of affects the steering a small bit. It's all very picturesque. Of course, winter time means more water pouring over the weirs and uh, more of a flow in the river. When you're heading down river, that can make your steering a little bit soft and a little bit less responsive. Something really nice about this time of year is that, is yeah, you, you just have the the river to yourself. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And when you when it comes to finding a mooring tonight, you don't have to worry. No, nah, won't be a bother. There'll be plenty of spots to moor up. We have the whole place to ourselves. Well, our plan is to go to Halton Shore. So here we are guys, it's mid-November, it's about 12 or 13 degrees and we're out boating, enjoying ourselves. It's not bammy hot, but it's not uncomfortable, it's not raining. And I've discovered a way, if you're ever thinking of going boating in Ireland and you're saying to yourself, mm, maybe the weather wouldn't be good, I'm after discovering a way whereby you can get much more good weather in Ireland than you used to. And I'm going to share it with you, here it is. All you have to do is you lower the bar for what you consider good weather. I've said it at this point, if it is 10 degrees centigrade or above, and if it's not raining, that classes as good weather. And 
by setting the bar at that level, I now get far more good weather than I used to get before. And hence, I'm out boating. It's great. So the waterway we're on today guys is the Shannon Urn waterway. This is a waterway that links the River Shannon with Loch Urn in Northern Ireland. It's approximately 65 kilometers long. I might be might be up by one or two yeah. kilometers on it, maybe even more than one or two. I think it has about 16 locks in total on it. Um, there's plenty of moorings along the way. It starts in the town of Leitrim and it goes through the town of Balnamore, Ballyconnell, and then it ends up in Loch Urn in Northern Ireland. It's made up of a still water canal, of river, and of a number of lakes as well. We're about to go onto the largest of those lakes, and that is Loch Garadice. But can I just say, it's a north-south border project, yep. wasn't it? It was, yeah, yeah, it was, it was part of the peace process. Peace process in right? I think 1994 it was, it was yeah. re rebuilt. So what yeah. they done, which I thought was very fair, the locks start at number one in the north, I right. finish at number 16, I think, in oh, Leitrim. Yes. And the bridges start in Leitrim at number one and finish in the north. Yeah, a little bit of education. There you go. Appeasement at its best. <laughs> well, I think I'm right. Oh, you are. You I are. am, yeah. You are, right. Yeah, right. You are indeed. No. Harry, Harry, come on, quick, quick. There's a big spider in here. I can't <laughs> What in. am I supposed to do? I hate spiders. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you take the wheel and I'll go in and I'll de spider yeah. the place. Oh my god. In the galley? No, the Oh yeah, mega spider. I've been sent in here because Marion spotted this fella. Look at that, is a beast. We could make a pet out of him. No. Get him, Mark. No, we'll not kill him. Oh, there he is. Oh. <laughs> we'll see. Let nitro kill him. There he goes. Gone swimming. Feeding the fishes. This is the beautiful Loch Garadice. The largest lake on the Shannon Iron Waterway. It takes about 25 minutes to get from one side of it to the other. That's actually an island straight up here in front of us. So we'll, we can pass either side of it. We're going to go to we're going to go to your left or our left. Thing about going boating in the winter time or in November is your likelihood of getting some bad weather increases quite dramatically. But uh, there's a bit of a breeze here today, but it's not a bad breeze. And, uh, but the lakes can be can be quite exposed. But in fairness, no matter how bad it is, you're only really going to be sort of 20 minutes out here on Loch Garadice, maybe maybe 25 minutes. This particular island here is called Church Island. It's, uh, I think it's the largest island on Loch Garadice. And as there is a clue in the title, yep, there's a church on it somewhere. There's a small bit of a landing jetty just on the, the, other, the other side of the island there. Now we're going to go straight on. And if you see up ahead, you can just see a marker off the, the point off that headland.
Now, unfortunately, the Lanthan Jetty on Church Island isn't really big enough to get um, anything other than a fishing boat or a sort of a rowing boat onto. You might be able to make out there, pretty much in the centre of your picture, just the wooden piles, the remains of that jetty. But uh, I do want to get onto that island one these days. I haven't managed to do it yet. So the sky is looking pretty stormy. And uh, I suppose it is winter time, so you can't expect it to be a whole lot better than that. But in a few moments... I can see my... I can feel my... Yeah, my your little bobbin is <laughs> it's, it's blowing in the wind. <laughs> oh. We'll be into the into the harbour now in a few moments and we'll be well and truly sheltered and we get well, settled nice. in for the night. It really is nice to get a couple of days away like this. Isn't oh it? yeah, it, it is. It is. It is. It's the thing. So, do you get a chance to, to hire a boat in the middle of winter? If you're dressed right for it and you have a source of heating, be it a stove, diesel heater, cups of tea, bottle of whiskey, whatever, something to keep the cold out, you can still have a superb time. It's it's only if it's raining, isn't it? Yeah. That's the, the like, real downer. We met a couple there 10 days ago and they hired from uh, Riversdale. That's right. Back here in Ballinamore. Yeah. And I think she, yeah. actually, I can't think her name now, but I was going Bi to Viola. 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 Hello, Viola. And She's David. Here and David. But they were say she was saying that the only place they could hire in November was, was Riversdale. Riversdale. Yes. But they have stores, and when we did get a look around, mm. We weren't allowed to bring a camera on board, but it was open. Yeah. Um, nice, there are nice, a nice, yeah. uh, sort of like a wide beam narrow boat. I hate that expression, wide beam narrow boat, because it's like saying a big small boat. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. It's, it's a narrow barge. And this is the approach into the harbour that they call Hotting Shore. And it's a really nice spot. There's obviously a van there, somebody doing a bit of fishing, I would guess. It's a tight turn now to get into the harbour. we're safely in harbour sit back and relax now for the evening the, uh, oh, nice. guys I hope you enjoyed the video and um, it just shows that boating in the winter is, is possible it's <laughs> still fun it is fun actually it was and it's it not is. bad really it's cold, like, but you have the, the harbour to ourselves it's wonderful so guys if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and uh, YouTube will stick up a few videos here there and everywhere and uh, Maybe click on one of them if you enjoyed this one. You might like to see more of our videos. But thanks for watching. Cheerio! After a long day in the river, Mar has been busy in the galley. And that is lovely hake, spuds, mushy peas, carrots done in honey, even candlelit. That just. I'm fierce romantic. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. <laughs> Fair play to you.